Good morning, explorers. So today, I'm on my lunch break right now. So it's kind of nice. So today, I'm really excited because today I got to use, we have this like old fashioned typewriter at work because um, we're kind of old fashioned at my pl at the work place and we use like charts instead of like the computers so we have to have like little labels for the charts themselves so I got to type out the name of the person who was on the chart and then I got the chart type out sorry kind of the I got to type out their information on the chart. It's kind of cool because I had like, I think, two other charts I got to do. Yeah, about two, maybe three. Um, and then, also, I uh, got taught how to, well, more in depth about how to seat a pre-med patient. Because um, at my work, we we have like these um, medical information forms we have to fill out every time uh, the patient comes in. So um, I got taught how to ask a pre-med patient, did you take your medication? Did you have any surgery done, recent surgery done to any of your bone joints, anything? Um, also we have a a patient coming in who's had some chemotherapy done so we have to ask them in deep in depth depth about um their blood thinners and their medications they have to take and everything else and it's kind of exciting because of what i want to go into like what i want to be because i want to be a nurse pra oh, a pediatrician nurse and I want to try to work at Hasbro and that's kind of a struggle because not only that but I have to find a college that goes along with what I want to do and some colleges I like are uh, UMass Dartmouth love them and um, uh, Salem State I like theirs because I like their um, campus life feeling because it it's like really um what's the word I'm trying to look for um relaxing and it's just like a nice surrounding and UMass Dartmouth made me think of my elementary school and it's kind of nice because it kind of brought brought me back to home and it, it makes me feel like I'm at home so I kind of like that one more I don't think my parents like that one more but what's she gonna do um yeah I'm kind of enjoying looking for colleges because it gets me excited to what to look forward to being an adult and going out and doing what I want and it's, it's exciting you know like for those people who don't understand the whole like college life like you have to ask that question when you're on a campus tour like how's the campus life and they tell you like it's relaxing and it's calm and everyone's your friend when you see them and like and everyone's like friendly like that's what you want that's like a college you want to look for and like college that has colleges that have like big open areas in the middle of their college or not in the middle but in their college to um sit out with your friends and talk to them and it's it's just so cool to look look at colleges that have that and then you also got to look at their programs that they have. Like for me, their nursing programs, like if they have a sim lab, like that's the most important thing. For me, I think if their college, if their college nursing program, yes, okay, if they're like top in their 
in the state or something. I don't really care about that. I really don't. I care for their sim lab. And I care for if what the percentage of um, students pass their board. I don't care if they're top in their class or if they're second or third. I don't really care. I care for their college life and, like I said, their sim lab and everything else. I also care for if they have a dance program or if they have a drama program. That's the things that I look for. And yeah, okay, if their, like, dorms are, are nice, if their dorms are nice and roomy, that's great. I like looking at those. But if schools have, like, forced triples or forced quads, that's not a school I want to go to. Because first off, you'd be crammed in a room that you're going to spend maybe four, five, maybe six years at. Nobody wants that. And, yeah, okay. If you have a room that's, like, really big, it can fit a triple. That's fine. But don't force it. I'm sorry, but that's the kind of things that drive me nuts. <coughs> sorry, I have a little cold, but it's okay. Um... What I'm kind of excited for, well, I'm not really excited for it, is my senior year. Because I was so excited for it come freshman. Because I was like, yes, I'm finally, three years from now, I'm going to be a senior. That's awesome. I'm going to go to college. I'm going to do what I want. Yes. Now that I am, like, I'm not really excited about it. Because they've taken away good things at my school. Like, good things. Things that, like, make me happy. I'm, making, I'm, I'm talking about, like, people. Like, the teachers. That's what I'm talking about. And it's, it's, it's not like, yeah, okay, we're going to fire so many people, X amount of people, because of X amount of reasons. Like, why? Why do that? Just because you didn't have enough salary to pay them. I don't know why, but... Like, they're taking away the electives that some of these seniors need to graduate. Like, okay. Uh, why take that away if you know students are going to need that? And... Then you're going to replace some of the teachers that you fired with teachers who that have no idea what you're doing or have no idea what they're doing. Like they replaced an art teacher with a computer lab science teacher. Why do that? In whose mind do you think that's right? Like, okay, I had a teacher who was a Spanish teacher and they made him have math just because he was what certified in math 11 years ago yeah of course he would get no one passing his class because he has no idea what he's talking about none whatsoever whatsoever it just kind of drives me nuts You're sorry if you if you're like this far into the video and you're kind of like not enjoying the fact that I'm just kind of sitting here but I really don't do much on my lunch break I kind of just sit in my car watch some videos and eat my lunch it's kind of it unless one of my friends has her is working and then I go hang out with her at her work and then it kind of gives me a break but kind of a yucky day to actually do anything so looks like it's gonna like rain like completely rain and the one thing I forgot at my house was my umbrella and I don't feel like going to go get it so 
yeah. But, well, anyway, you guys, I want to eat my lunch, and then I'll see you guys later. Bye! Now, this is my not-so-fun favorite time of the day. Sorry I'm whispering, but they're, they're working next door, so I don't want them to hear me, so I'm not something a part of the day. It's trash. But it means it's the end of the day, so. That's my favorite part. Yes. Not only is my favorite part, but my favorite part is doing a whole bunch of machinery stuff, and I love it. So, it's ungodly hot in this room, so. I'll see you guys when I'm done. Forgot to mention, um, today I also cleaned out at my work. I cleaned out, we have an x-ray machine, and I got to clean that out. Like, they had the, there's this, uh, there's like four sections. And each section has a big container. So I got to uh, clean out the developer, the fixer, and the water container. There's a develop sec, uh, whoops, sorry, a dryer section, but it was just like a, it was on top with the lid that covered it all. So I didn't have to clean that off, which was great, because I had to clean off these thin, like, layered uh, part of the uh, fixer and um, developer part. Um, and it was just so difficult. I was like, I felt like I was going to break it. I really did, but I didn't, and I was really excited but, um, yeah, when, it's like five o'clock, I'll, I'll come back, so, I'll see you guys then, bye! Yay, guys, so, I'm home now, so I might just end the episode here, because I do really nothing at home, because... I get tired from work, so make sure to comment about the video, or any of my videos really, and subscribe. So, bye guys!